Desert Willow Ranch. Got me and the wife here. There's our dirt. We got the permit. So they're they're getting ready to do the concrete pad. So this is the, the dirt they need for it. And they're putting in our culvert. So we'll show you that. So exciting time. All right, Desert Willow Ranch, good afternoon. Good things are happening today. Even though it's a little cool outside, we got a lot of dirt coming. So I don't want to go over there and mess with them, but they got a ton of dirt. Uh, so it's going to be the pad. So one step closer to the off grid lifestyle. Fortunately, we had to, they pulled up our gate. So we're putting in uh, two tents to make it 20 feet wide, which I think will be fine. So we'll go from there, but uh, I'm not going to bug them, but there is some work being done. It's good times. Hi, right, Saturday afternoon, like two o'clock. We have cows, they're close. Um, but we got our first 10, 10 foot side up and then we re-dug and um, concreted this corner post so we can get another 10 foot, which would give us a 20 foot span. So you can see they pulled up our old one. Uh, so, but it's gonna work out fine, I think. It looks like it lines up pretty evenly. So tomorrow this fence should be back up and running. Uh, they're still here, you can see. They're just building the pad. I'll show more. To, I'll show more tomorrow. I don't think they're working tomorrow, so uh, I'll take a video of it. All right. Good morning. It's a frigid morning out here on the homestead, but we got coffee, so uh, it's a good thing. So you can see it's. Uh, we got some overcast. Uh, so this is like I think leftovers from the atmospheric river in California. So good times. Uh, but today we're gonna be finishing up our gate. So we winded it. We got it concreted as you saw yesterday. Looks like it's pretty stable. Let's see. Oh yeah, she's good. She ain't moving. Um, so well, oh yeah, she's cured too. So we're gonna get, so she's looking pretty stable. So we'll get the gate going and we're also gonna run this fence here um, and get this back up. So we are actually um, covered again in the front. So the cows aren't like, just coming in through the front. Um, we're actually gonna cut these wires and use, um, just tighten them up here. So we came in, we got about, it was 12, we changed it to 20. So we have eight extra feet. So these lines are too long, so I can just reuse them. Um, reason why we didn't wanna go with reusing this, A, it was a pain in the butt with all the concrete on there. And when they lifted it up, they kinda dinged up the posts. So I just want it looking nice cause it is the front, that's all. So uh, that's what we're doing today. Later on, I'll go and show you what they've started and I'll show you the convert, uh, culvert. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing today. All right, I wanted to kind of show everybody uh, what uh, what we did. Yeah, I'm in my polypros from the army. It was freaking cold out here. Uh, so sorry if I don't match red and brown, whatever. Uh, but this is what we have going on. So I we added our two tens. So it's basically a 20 foot span, a little longer, obviously. Um, I didn't really want to do doubles because I didn't think I'd match them match them up very well. Uh, but you can see they're they're close. They ain't perfect, but they're close, so they'll stay. Um, and I'm actually jumping the fence now because I don't want cows. And there's cows all over. <laughs> The place walking through or rubbing up against my fences then we'll have to redo that so uh that's that's not in the books we're not gonna let that happen so i dug a quick another trench uh, so you can see here i dug most of it but it's just high tensile jumper wire it's made for it so it's got rubber around it so you can see it here i didn't finish uh putting it up but it'll be on the third come over here and i'll i'll wrap it up to the third uh so our front fence is back and our gate is big enough for some big old trucks for when they build the house. Uh, to be continued, because I'm still gonna show you over there. All right, so you can tell where they're getting our pad ready for our house. So we got they got brought some equipment out, a little roller, a bucket. They were bringing some big old dirt uh, semi trucks out here. That's why we had to widen the gate. Definitely wasn't big enough, um, but we got the permit on Friday and they started, uh, they started doing this stuff on Friday, so so they're getting the house ready. Uh, it'll be raised, obviously, because we are downhill, so there is a good slope. Not good slope, but there is a slope to our property, so uh, we're going to have it high enough to where it's not going to be a problem coming into the house. So that's where we're at now, but work has started on the old off-grid homestead, so we're getting there. Everybody, this is a monumentous occasion. This is the hole 
for the last fence post. <laughs> so we did it. We're gonna, hopefully it's straight, but I wanted to show everybody. <laughs> Cause we actually, we're not gonna be able to run the line, but we got the last fence post in. We'll run the line, there it is. There it is in all its glory. Are you excited, Tycho? Can you hold it? All right, I'm over here by the culvert they put in. So you can kind of see it looks a little different. It ain't perfectly straight. We got a little hump in the middle. Don't know if they're gonna fix that. I hope they do. I'll talk to Toby about it. He's our, uh, he's our builder. Um, but I'll sh show you what we put in. So here's our, uh, here's our wash, Arroyo. I've been saying it wrong, so it's Arroyo. Hopefully, I'm not saying it wrong still. Uh, but there's our, there's our actual culvert. Um, so I think I'll need to put a rattlesnake uh, mesh on the front. I don't know. We'll see. I don't even know if this is an active wash. We just did it just in case. Um, but maybe I can do something to even block the water uh, further down and kind of keep make this into some type of. Uh, uh i can hold some water so i don't know we'll see i might pump it out and then use it for some of the trees and stuff that we're going to plant eventually oh i'm going to go turn the fence on but uh we finished the backside today there's my wife she's uh picking up the string line i'm turning the fence back on uh so all the posts are up they're all in so hopefully i'm not jinxing myself and and have the cows freaking knock them down but uh friday of I have this Friday off again, so I'll be coming out here and we're gonna run the high tensile and the whole fence should be up, should be. Uh, so that's awesome. So I just wanna say uh, thanks for watching. Um, like, subscribe, comment, um, and we'll just keep on doing this thing. Hope you all have a great week.